Athletic Inc. is a special animal, and it, it is governed by the NCAA. In order to grant athletic aid, it is granted through a national letter of intent, which you've heard of, right? No Division III school has that piece of paper in a drawer any place on campus to give athletic aid. Now, will athletes get aid? Possibly. Um, if any of you families know someone who has a youngster in their family who's a terrific cellist, absolutely terrific, played in Carnegie Hall, state orchestra, when they apply to college and the college looks at the merit aid, the scholarships they give, and they see this fantastic cellist, regardless of what the numbers customarily might be for merit aid, they might give that kid a bump. Likewise, some Division III colleges, and not the NESPACs, will provide a little bit of a bump into, the, into a scholarship range for a student who is an athlete, who looks like they're going to contribute on the field of play. Why not? That student is bringing something to campus, right? Now, understand that as you move up in levels of selectivity, and I'm talking in generalities now, as you move up in levels of selectivity, you leave merit aid behind. In other words, scholarships disappear in general as colleges become more selective. As colleges become more selective, they become richer as we look at them. Their endowments are greater. They're in a better position to give need-based aid. They give more need-based aid, and merit aid tends to drop off. Sometimes there are one or two specific scholarships for students of certain types from certain backgrounds that are given as particular grants by donors. Once again, a little bit, you know, not a very direct answer, but the truthful answer. Um, and need-based aid increases with selectivity as a general proposition because you wind up looking at schools that are wealthier and they have a better ability to give need-based aid. Unfortunately, families sometimes think about that need-based aid and they don't recognize the fact that not every college meets the full need, as need is defined under the federal formula. So the need, it's a good thing to pay attention to. What percentage of need is either always met or customarily met? So, the question was, is there money for athletes coming from Division III schools? There is need-based money, as with anybody else, and there is a boost sometimes for merit aid, discounted. The overall discount rate in the United States across all colleges is 46%. Colleges really, as, as these colleges have become more expensive, they actually can't get that. Their average is 46% discounted. I hope that answered the question to some extent.